Howdy y'all, this is Austin with the Pickleball. Hey, with this video, I want to give more back to the Pickleball community. Uh, basically, I've ran and put together probably about six to eight tournaments at this point, and I'm not able to do as many this year as I'd like to. I might be able to do one more. I just finished one yesterday, uh, and I just, so normally I've done uh, all gen, basically I'm not, I'm not sexist either for or against women. So basically, women can play my thing, but uh, men can play as well. And uh, any partnerships that can happen. So usually a couple, maybe one or two ladies play, uh, but that's it. Uh, this tournament, we were it was pretty nice. We got to do a mixed doubles event as well as uh, Susanna Barr played with the men. Uh, but yeah, it, anyways, uh, so we're growing, uh, growing a little bit on my tournaments, just like my YouTube channel. Things gradually get better. I, I work out the kinks and things get a little better. And uh, there were some kinks yesterday. I'll keep improving. Trust me, uh, things will get better. So anyways, I want to talk about the best uh, format that I've learned and the best format in pickleball period. I've tried quadruple elimination. I've tried a more like a like a very legit best two out of uh, basically a double elimination that's super legit. I've tried super legit th triple eliminations. Uh, like yesterday, yesterday we did just because it made sense with the venues and whatnot. We did uh, best two out of three, best two out of three, but uh, win by one, and then we did a uh, best of fifteen by two. Uh, we tried that, uh, and uh, yeah, I've, I've done mixers, I've done a lot of different things, and I'm going to give you the very best format that there is. very best format that I found to date that I think is the best, and really, let's talk about why, what format we do. So there's round robins. Round robins give back to the players, but it's, uh, it's kind of more socialism. Everyone gets the same amount of play. What about the better players? Like, they, they've... They're better. Why are why do they have to play the weaker teams over and over again? It's less good for them. It's less good for the better players, anyways. Better for the weaker players. Uh, now we have double elimination. It's bad for the weaker players. It's better for the stronger players. But also, why are we only doing double elimination? Is it for the players, or is it because the tournament needs to make money and it's a it's not for the players? It's uh, logistics and greed. It's logistics and greed. The one good thing about double elimination is more matters per match. So higher stakes, higher reward, better pickleball. So that's the good thing with that. <coughs> so anyways, best format I've found is <coughs> you do groups of four. Uh, so groups of four round robin. So you take, so basically, let's say I have 16 teams. I take the first seed, I take the fifth seed, I take the 12th and 16th seed. And then, like the last group, I take the fourth, eighth, and ninth, and thirteenth seed. I take, I, I, I split up the groups evenly, and it, you play each game to eleven by one. Uh, so it goes pretty fast. It takes about an hour to maybe possible, like an hour and a half. It doesn't take very long to play three games. Uh, so you do that, and whoever's whoever's better gets the better seeding uh, in the actual tournament. So it's a way to get your nerves out, get some, get figure out the kinks as well as it doesn't really matter it's for seeding if you do awful your last seed just don't do bad in the legit event so it's a way to get more games in less time and also you get a variety of play uh, next is you do a triple elimination event so uh, you take the seeding you see people uh, not just off of like the seeding you had initially but you change it based off how well they did uh, so that's nice because you get a better gauge of where people are at and it becomes more accurate and then, uh, yeah, triple elimination. Uh, so I, I like to do for the players, uh, I like to do a best two out of three, best of 15 by two, and then a best of 15 by one. Uh, if you do all of this back to BT dubs, it takes about, it takes about seven to 10 hours. So it's, it's a long day of pickleball, but you think about a legit tournament, it's gonna take that long anyways to do a double elimination a tournament. When I do these kind of things, I usually do one event, so I do like, four or five plus plus, and I, um, I, I make it quality. Uh, so basically, you're running your own tournament, you wanna make your own quality event, this is the format that I would do. Uh, so basically, so I do the, the four team round robins, then triple elimination, and yeah, so a minimum for the weaker players, they get at least six games, and if, if, you, lose, if, you, if you lose three times in a triple elimination, 
I like that as well because you could get unlucky in a double elimination where you get bad seeding, you get uh, you get unlucky with who you play. You could play the top and second, the top two teams right away and you lose and you're out. I mean, that's unfortunate. It could happen to you though. Triple elimination though, that's less likely to happen. And if you get unlucky three times, it's now your fault. You you can't blame anyone else. You got unlucky three times. Like it's a you thing, not a by chance thing. So I like triple elim elimination for that. As well as I've tried quadruple elimination, triple elimination, uh, there's enough on the line where it matters. Quadruple elimination, it gets a little stale, like, oh, I lost, like, I got three more times, I'm fine. So it, it has enough on the line where it matters, but uh, you can't keep losing in triple elimination, you'll, you'll, you'll lose the tournament. So, yeah, so I like those aspects of it. Uh, you get a lot of pickleball, so at least six games. If you're weaker, you get weeded out, you deserve it, fine. And then uh, if you're doing better, you get more pickleball, wonderful. And so yeah, usually uh, six, six games for the, for the bottom teams, and then for those who are doing better, you get around eight to 11 or 12 games, so a lot of games. And it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty fast, especially with one location. You can keep things going really well. If you have multiple locations, that's when things get really complicated ways you can put this together. I've tried, basically, I've tried to make my own things completely from scratch. There's not, I don't know of a really good software that can put it together completely for you, but I've decided with this very last one yesterday, this is a big change I'm gonna make. I'm going to take from now on a double elimination uh, bracket, and then I'll add I'll add the last bracket, so it saves up. That should save you a lot of time. The reason why I haven't done that before is, I wanted the top players to pl not get as many, not to not get buys in the first round, so they could play the weaker players. Because that's one reason uh, that people want to play is they get to play players that they normally don't get to. So a four or five gets to play against the top team the first round, and they get that experience, and it's a pretty cool experience. The trade-off though is I have buys later in the tournament, and things are a little more complicated. Uh, so it's it's a I don't think it's worth it. And, and also it does take a couple hours to like make the thing completely from scratch so take a double elimination thing with however many teams you have may, uh, and then feed it into a final bracket which you make and if you ha if you have a better software or whatnot please let me know uh, but anyways that's what I would do at this point and that way you don't have buys later in the tournament and people complaining uh, anyways so uh, that's that's what I would do f uh, logistics for it other things you can do I like to do, I like to do uh, prize money. Where basically this last one yesterday, I had every player put in fifty bucks, and for example, and uh, for example, logistics, uh, we basically got the courts for free, and uh, with the courts, I had sponsors help cover what it wasn't covered, so that covered that, and then. I had a dollar from each player go to balls, but then someone sponsored the ball, so I gave that back to the players, and everything went to prize money. You think about all these tournaments where they're they're taking the money, or maybe they're giving it to a good cause. Why isn't it about the players? Uh, and maybe maybe the it's not about the player for union to make money or whatever it is. Wonderful. At least give them a good format where it's really nice. Uh, don't don't just give them a double elimination format. Or I mean, round robin's okay, but it has its weaknesses. So yeah, give back to the players. Uh, anyways, moving on. So with uh, yeah, so the, with the prize money, prize money is nice. I give it to the top five teams. The reason why is I mean, if I have thirty teams and only three teams are winning money, uh, that's a, I'd like to give back a little bit to the to the middle guys, and as, as well as maybe someone can't get to the top three, but they can make it to the top five. So it gives them something to shoot for. Uh, so I, and I've been I've been on the pro tour where I can't I can't I can't medal at events sometimes and it's and anyways it, it's nice to give back a little to the middle guy uh, so I'd like to do that and then so all the prize money goes to the top five teams uh, it also rewards the top teams where they've played a long day of pickleball seven to ten hours is a lot and then also they they get paid for their time and like if you're the best team you should be rewarded for it you're the best team that showed up. You beat everyone else. You didn't get as much out of it. People learn. I learned from failure. If someone beats me, you're not going to beat me the same way next time. I'm going to step up my game, and I get a lot out of losing, and I appreciate losing, uh, even if in the moment I hate it. Uh, but if I'm the best team, I should be. I should be rewarded for that. If I or if I'm one of the best teams, uh, I think it's it's good to, to have that. 
Uh, so I like to give back to the players with the prize money, and the, and also if there's if you're not playing for anything, then you don't really care as much. Uh, so if you've put in a little bit of money into it, you're gonna care a little bit more. If you're paying for a pickleball lesson, you're gonna care more about it. If you, anyways, I, I just have the idea that if if you put into if you give if you give to something, you're gonna care more more about it. Uh, so anyway, so there's that concept. Next is I like. Why do we always just do medals? My gosh, it, medal this, medal that, crappy medals. I mean, you could do a really awesome medal. Awesome, I, I appreciate that. But why are we always doing medals? Um, I, I think, like, I, this is my idea from when I was a pickleball student. Uh, I would, I would, I saw that my ping pong coach had some plaques, he had some trophies, and I'd only won medals ever in ping pong. And I'm like, man, I, how cool is that? He has this cool trophy. I, I want that. I want to, I want to win something that's really cool with a, with a trophy. And I know a lot of people don't care as much about the trophies and medals, probably about half. But if it's really nice, you're probably even if you don't care about them as much about it, it's still pretty cool. Uh, so and even let's say let's say you don't want to do trophies, you could do plaques. Don't want to do plaques. You could do uh, like I, I have one friend who he got he ran golf tournaments. He got people really cool things that they could actually use. For example, I know Susanna Barr, she likes mugs or things that she can actually use. He got uh, his golf players uh, like a paperweight for their office that was really cool. Uh, and people asked him, asked him about it years later trying to get the paperweight that they now lost. So anyways, there's lots of ideas that you can do for awards. Why are we just doing medals? It's silly. Um, so anyways, give back to your players with that. Uh, and also with that idea... Uh, with that idea, I ha I try to get a couple sponsors to sponsor the medals or trophies, and uh, yeah, so that way the pr there's more money for prize money, and uh, I'm not taken away from the players. Uh, so yeah, anyways, hopefully you can at least get the format from this, where you're running your own thing, you want to play with some friends, try the try the little round robins, and then triple elimination. You'll have a long day of pickleball. It's going to be super awesome, and yeah. Uh, I'm not able to run these kind of things as much, and ho hopefully y'all can carry on the legacy a little bit with that. And you can have so the really with tournaments and these kind of things. The world is your oyster; it's your imagination. Think of think of what event or what what thing you want to do. Quadruple elimination, other things. Try it. See what you like. Don't just do round robins and double eliminations, please. I beg of you. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you found some good insights on. On running your own tournaments or maybe you can give some people some higher up people some good ideas and uh, stop just being content with with what we're given we can do better and yeah I I appreciate the pickleball community if you found this helpful please subscribe pickle on dudes